A very big hello to my wonderful KCT champions. I hope all my dear children are doing absolutely great. So yes, you might have seen the thumbnail. It says that it's a reminder video. But it's not just a reminder video. I'll also pass some important information. But before I go ahead, I definitely want to say one very important thing. That is, I understand that you might be super busy with your JE examination. Uh, some of you also might have your second preparatory examination. But amongst all of that, do not forget to take out little time to register for your KCT examination because it is also super important, right? So the registration process starts on January 17th, which is tomorrow. And why there's a reminder video? Because most of the times, some of us keep on delaying things and then after that we get comments ma'am what to do registration process is over we have not applied so don't do that mistake okay i don't do that mistake and i'm pretty sure you guys are not going to do that because you are what do you call super super responsible right so uh in this video as i said it won't be just a reminder video i'll also give you an idea about how does the flow of uh this particular examination work so that you have an idea a clear idea about what you should be waiting for what would be the next step right so as of now we are over here registration as well as filling off application form over here make sure your documents are super ready because my dear children you would have to fill in the rd number uh, the reference details everything okay if at all you belong to some reservation category you would have to provide the documents as well and depending on that your application form is going to be made and the process of filling of application form ends by payment of the fee so you would have to pay a certain amount of fee over here and then you will be getting your application form you can have a printout of it got it now later after so much time towards your examination almost two weeks before you would be getting a link to download your admit card so from this point to that point my dear children there would be a gap do not wait for anything just there will be an admit card download it because you would need the admit card for giving your examination which is kct examination now post your examination you will get provisional answer key Okay, now this provisional answer key is not the final one. That's why it's known as provisional. You can still make changes. Suppose you feel the question answer something is wrong. You can, you will be having an objection window where you can object and then post that there will be a final answer key which would be released. Now there will be offline document verification as well. Post the offline document verification, my dear children. Uh, people who are going to appear for PU2 this year, uh, for them, you do not need to fill marks because your PUC itself will be filling the marks automatically. But uh, for children from other boards such as CBSC, ICSC and all, you would have to fill in the marks. Okay, you would definitely have to fill in the marks or a registration or roll number. As well, and, and sorry, you have to fill in your marks and people who gave the examination previous year, suppose you're a dropper. In that case, you might have to fill in your registration or roll number as well. Cool. And then obviously it's subjective to changes. Do not worry. If there are changes, we'll let you know. Okay. Post that you will get your KCT results because your PU2 marks, your KCT marks, all of them has been totaled and then only you will get your KCT rank. And my dear children, post that. Okay, almost towards counseling, you would be having your verification slip. Post verification slip download, you would be going ahead with the counseling process. So previous year, there were three rounds for counseling. I think that's all. Apart from that, there are so many other things also. For example, what subjects are needed for what all courses, okay, or uh, is Kannada language just important for everyone? And um, what do you call, um, yeah, um, in, in your, uh, what do you call, ranking system, how is the rank determined? Is KCT and PU2 taken equally? It's not the same for all of the courses. For engineering, it's different. For farm science courses, it's different. So if at all you have any queries regarding that, you can watch this video. The link would be given in the description section as well. This is also super, super important. Okay. Now going ahead with the next thing, that is the list of documents that you need to produce. Just give me a second. Yes. So over here, you have the mandatory document list. I have made a separate video on this. If you have time, please definitely go and watch it. It is going to be super, super helpful for you. These are few documents which is common to everyone. That is your SSLC or 10th marks sheet, your Aadhaar card, your updated Aadhaar card. Okay. Now you need to make sure of one very important thing. Whatever name is there in SSLC card, the candidate's name. 
इट शुड बी द सेम नेम इन योर आधार कार्ड ऑल्सो योर आर डी सर्टिफिकेट एज वेल योर आधार कार्ड एंड योर आर डी सर्टिफिकेट शुड कंटेन द सेम नेम एज गिवन इन योर एस एस एल सी मार्क्स कार्ड आई होप दैट्स क्लियर देन स्टूडेंट्स फोटोग्राफ इन जे पी जे फॉर्मैट दिस शुड भी अंडर फिफ्टी के बी स्टूडेंट सिग्नेचर ऑल्सो इन जे पी जे फॉर्मैट अंडर फिफ्टी के बी एंड स्टूडेंट्स मोबाइल नंबर इट शुड बी एसोसिएटेड विद व्हाट्सएप शुड बी व्हाट्सएप नंबर and a proper email id for registration process and as i said i have made a separate video where i spoke about all the different reservation categories and also what are the certificates that they need to carry i hope that was understood my dear children we will be giving you all the updates so do not forget to hit the subscribe button if at all you do not want to miss on any updates and if at all you are someone who is worried about kct please do not be worried we have got you covered we have already launched abhyas kct test series it's a wholesome dress series okay i'm telling you uh with with so much uh, what do you call pride because we saw students making the best use of it thousands of students got placed into the best colleges out there my dear children and so many of them we could meet them as well we have prajwal with rank 171 out of 3 lakh children uh, kiran with rank 443 diksha with rank 693 sachin with 934 sahil with 2427 and the list goes on but what are the things that are going to be provided over here you should know about that as well right so the first thing is your 35 kct mock test and all this test my dear children you would have to attempt it in a particular duration you cannot uh, what do you call a uh, uh, play around the time because there is strict timing that has been put and you have to solve questions accordingly and this year newly we have put the chapter wise kct pyqs as well this is going to be super helpful for everyone who is preparing for your pu2 board now because once your pu2 chapters are done you can go ahead and solve some questions of kct as well in that way basically both kct and pu2 would be balanced okay and there will be pcmb coverage so you not need to worry about anything and all of it is rupee is for rupees 1499 the previous year also it was the same amount we have added up something thinking it's important for you it's going to be useful for you hope you utilize it and i'm definitely sure that you guys are going to outshine and not just outshine my dear children you guys are the best give your best and do not be worried about anything out there we are there to help you out i'm telling you again do not be worried Take care of yourself and take it slow. Yes. Bye bye. Wishing you all the best.